Hi, everybody. I've got a last journal for this Friday, and it's blues and whites. It's real pretty, and it measures, it's one of my long ones, 10 by, well, I guess that edge sticks out. Let's have a peek. Yeah, four and three fourths. And I used a real pretty blue with a, it's got a slight white print to it. So I picked that white up and I put it throughout the book. And it's got um, some of that gorgeous blue lace. Big doily back here. And a real pretty bow. <laughs> Sammy Jo says hello. And um, part of a crochet doily with a heart there. But look at her dress. Is that not stunning? It's got like, like pearls sewn all in it, and then the the lace. Just gorgeous what they used to wear back then. And there's the spine. And the back, real pretty fabric. And let's go inside. I used blue stitching on the, on the tie. On the inside, this is um, a part of a napkin. And it's um, uh, punched out here, and it's, and it's sewn around and around, and um, got some uh, lace and some cheesecloth and pretty bow. And got a card here on a book page, and then a big card here with some laces and some flowers. I used blue stitching throughout, and I used a lot of these this lace, and it's got the blue lace and the um, seam binding with a little flower, and then I stitched all the way around here and on the outside edge, and that's the stitching from the other side, a little card that's adhered down, real pretty image here on some ephemera. Another uh, piece of ephemera here, and I attached some lined paper. And a little label area up there. This is um, some of the new things that I got at the estate sale I went to, and this was like a cocktail napkin. So I cut it in half and made pockets with it, and used the blue fly, uh, blue um, bow to go with it. And that's the stitching from the other side. Big card for writing, note taking, whatever you you like. Got a little image there. This is um, part of a, a book page on plants, I believe. And look at that gorgeous dress. And I used cheesecloth in the background. And this is a piece of graph paper, and then I sewed around this image and sewed inside this image. So you get that double look there. And another piece of paper with the cheesecloth and the uh, blue lace, and then it's got part of a doily there. And that's the stitching from the other side, real pretty image, and some blue satin with the cheesecloth. Another place for your lined paper and some lined paper here on both our on ephemera. And the stitching. This is a, a card, the stitching going all the way around, and then a big card here with some fabrics, and it's adhered down. Beautiful lady with the cheesecloth, and I stitched around all the way around. The cheesecloth with the blue lace and a little rose. There's a tag I made for what made a pocket out of, and I stamped on it, and put some fabrics and some cheesecloth and some lace, and tied it up with some lace. Just went to town with that thing. Big card, and then you got all this space. Don't forget, you've got all the space behind it too for writing. Or adding things, adding your own things. Got some cheesecloth peeping over 
I sewed around the image. Again, a little label like area with um, the stitching. Little card here that's been adhered down with the leaf stitching go all the way around, and I put a little mini envelope there with a little ticket made out of uh, from a poetry book. No pretty lady with one heck of a hat. I can't tell. Oh, no, that's a feather. Okay, that's what that is. And there's her hair. Those are feathers going all the way down. Okay. For the wall there, I thought that was all her hair because that's kind of... But, you know, I wasn't seeing right, but here's her hairline. Here. Pretty. Some uh, trim there. Sewed around it. And the cheesecloth. Got a little vintage tag here. And this is the same fabric as the... No, it's not the same fabric as the front. No, it's not. But it's blue and blue lace and a flower and some stitching. And there are a couple of cards. I tried to use a lot of, of blues in this book. It just adds a lot of color. A little botanical here on a piece of ephemera and stitched around. And then a little postcard with some lined music paper, or what would you call that? You just call it music paper, I think. Got um, a lot of stitching going on here with the cheesecloth lace and some flowers. And that's the stitching from the other side. And then I stitched around her a bunch of times and put a little bow with the blue lace there. The cheesecloth, the lace, and a heart. And the stitching on the inside here and on the edge. Yeah, you could say I went a little overboard on the stitching, but I just love it. Absolutely love it. I think it adds so much. A little botanical here on some ephemera. This is a a, um, a, 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 a envelope <laughs> with uh, stitching going down the side. Look at all that delicious coffee and the contrast. It's real pretty. And then I stuck a big card in there and I stamped and inked it. More stitching there. Uh, another lady with a real um, pretty hat. When I was younger, we used to call those muffies. I don't know what you call them, what they were called, but I remember my mother called it a muffy. Um, little thing you put both your hands in to keep your hands warm. Another page from the plant book, and then this is a big card adhered down with the stitching around it, and it's got the blue lace and some crocheted bits. Look at that. Love it. Piece of ephemera here with some real faint lined paper. Some graph paper with a vintage lady in a gorgeous dress. Some more of the blue lace and cheesecloth and different laces. There's another tag I went a little crazy with. and um, I put like a little purple graphic back here and stamped it in green and cheesecloth and lace. And part of a doily here and a little knot there. And then the lace up here with a big tag. I just love this tag. It looks so old. really like it. And then this folds out, and it's got stitching around both sides. And then the cheesecloth with a, a lady. And then over here is a botanical with um, the stitching in the cheesecloth. Another card here with a blue rose. And a piece of ephemera with stitching and some real faintly lined paper. And same with this one, the stitching, the lined paper. Over here are parts of a doily and the blue lace and the cheesecloth. I let that blue lace and cheesecloth just come on through the whole book. So it really ties it together nicely. So a vintage photo of a, of a lady with, uh, and I stitched around it, and it's got some lace running up the side with the stitching from the other side. And um, a little rose here. This is some graph paper. 
with some lined paper. Another book page here with the cheesecloth and some stitching. Here's the other part of that um, cocktail napkin that I, I got at that estate sale and I stitched it in blue and it matches the other one. It's got the pretty blue bow. And then that's from the other side. It's a long card. Gotta have something long to fit in that length of the pocket. I think it's almost five and a half inches there. Nice big pockets. More stitching, some ephemera, and some lined paper. So you've got plenty of writing space and you've got plenty of goodies. Some pretty blue there. And the lace and the cheesecloth. There's the last page. And the front pocket is not, it does, it matches it in the fabric. But I used um, some cheesecloth here and a vintage lady that I sewed around with the, the blue bow. The blue bow and the fabrics go together, but I used different. Uh, because that was already there and I didn't want to cover that up. I thought it was too pretty. And inside we've got a little booklet that's closed with um, seam binding. And it's made out of tags. And it's got the, it's been inked up. It's got a lace spine with the burlap and fabrics it's been stamped on and it's just plain papers on the inside and I just stitched a little bit down each page and there's the back we're pretty white part of a tablecloth with the blue stitching and there's the back and the spine and the front I want to thank y'all for spending part of your Friday with me again, and I will see y'all next week in the next video. Bye-bye, y'all.